Hello and welcome back to Banished Mega Mod. Thank you very much for joining me in this video and thank you to the people who have been leaving messages over the past few episodes. Now that I've read some of them, except last week's videos one, uh, now that I've read some of them, there's a, a number of messages talking about uh, upgrading the houses and talking about setting firewood for the uh, at the lumber yard, uh, sorry, not at lumber yard, at trading post, and all those sorts of things. So, what I'm going to do in this video is, I am looking to upgrade every single house uh, today. So, all the houses here we're looking to have upgraded. I am going to try and figure out what on earth is going on with this. Maybe make a new storage barn. Uh, looking at some of the some of the comments as well. Uh, probably need to need to look at getting. Um, getting some firewood here I've got some 500 maybe getting some more in there and uh, we'll see what's happened so that is the is the goal for today and uh, I might have a look at a few of a few more comments whilst I'm whilst I'm recording this video and see if uh, see if I can read anything else so make sure you stay tuned to see the little village of Avonford perhaps starts getting to the point of a little town Okay, so the first thing I need to do is, whilst we've got the opportunity with the labourers, I am going to start upgrading. So, for example, um, I need to find... What I'm going to do is I'm going to look for empty houses. That is what I'm going to do. If we have any. Here we go. There's one empty house here. You go for upgrade. You also go for an upgrade. And we'll we'll work. That is how I'm looking to to work on these things. So if the houses are upgraded, then we can move people in in and out and uh, all around those uh, particular houses. Right. I'm just uh, reading a few a few other things on on the comments. So I have I have received some comments. So I'm just trying to find them now. I think the main comments were all about uh, here we go cotton needs to be weaved to, in order to be turned into cloth and there was an explanation about the red circle as well so uh, over here we have this red circle it's something to do with um, a negative impact area so we want to keep maybe houses out of this area which is interesting that is something that we will have to potentially look at did I get that mentioned I did so let's go ahead and focus on that now I am a little bit concerned about this here because if I fast forward I have a feeling it's early spring and nobody's picking up any of these things and that is concerning. Let's make some peas here. See nobody's picking up any of these items and nobody's starting to work on on the farms. Now, we're okay because we have a lot of food, but it is a little bit odd that, that we have this, this problem. So I am concerned about that. They haven't, they haven't even picked these up, you see. But we do have, we have the storage space and what's our food at? Food is 7,000. We have 5,600. So just some just some minor concerns minor concerns there and trying to figure out what what we need to do on that ah this person's died so we're going to upgrade her house unfortunately Lassiella and Arilai Arilai it's almost like Lorelai um, is is replacing we should be able to do this Although we, we need the builders. How are we looking for clothing? We're okay. What are we looking like on leather? Not much in the way of leather. So there we go. And what's this? What are we looking at here? Oh, nobody's is nobody working here. That's at its limit. There we go. How's the house building going? 
slow apparently. What is our supply of firewood looking like as I need to most well look at getting that moved? So where, where do I find the firewood? The firewood's here. Oops. The firewood's apparently not there. Where is the firewood? Has all the firewood moved down here? It all has moved down here. Um, 490, okay, I'm going to leave that firewood where it is. I'm expecting this to be upgraded, here we go. And now they've cleaned this up. So, we've had no food, uh, no farming in this, in this particular season. Season? Yeah, that's the right term. We've had no farming in this year, which is mildly concerning but I suppose it should be it should be okay hopefully everybody is enjoying their enjoying their day and look here we go the first of the new houses being built they're looking lovely this one can be another one on the upgrade list so can that one there we go and as nobody's decided to farm, all of you lot, except one who maybe needs to tend the let's say two who need to tend the farms, all of you guys, three who need to tend the farms, uh, fuel, no, what? Why is this maxed out? Fuel limit, 1,000. Uh, fuel limit, 2,000. Keep going. Keep going. We, we need ag. We've got full storage bonds, so that's... Uh, another set of problems that we need to deal with. Okay, anybody else who's going to have empty houses? These houses are still empty. You've upgraded. I tell you what, now what we're going to do is upgrade the people who are living on their own. Like, like so. Because as we do that, they should move into these are apparently not. Well, that's weird. We are going to have some deaths, though. I can I can see that coming. There we go. And just as I said, that garland of the woodcutter has unfortunately died of old age. He was th he was 86. I have no idea how old he was. He's going to be next to die, perhaps. Harren. Possibly. Amelia. Am Amelia. Amelia, maybe? Amelia. The teacher. Oh, Ari could die soon. That is not good. Amelia, the farmer, has died of old age. So hopefully, the idea behind this is upgrading these houses is meant to give us the opportunity to grow our village because there are more more people can live in the houses, so you can have larger families. That is the theory. Now, what we need to do is we're going to we're going to make a right mess of this right now. We're going to take. 1,500 bean out of here. Yes, we're going to take 1,500 bean out of here to assist us. Just as somebody shows up here. That was fantastic. Although it has nothing I require. So we're looking for 2,500 bean. Um, we have trade beef cows. But I have beef cows already. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to dismiss you. But, if you have anything that I could potentially take... Um... Chickens. Is there any lamb here? Looks like lamb. Sheep, there we go. Or just sheep. What what is the difference between trade sheep and sheep? There's a there's a question. There's a difference between beef cows and let's go for cows and chickens. Cow and chicken. No, not cow and chicken, sheep and chicken. There we go. Uh oh, sorry. Um Dismissed. There we go. 
go. Now, in addition to that, oh, there we go. Now they're working on this. Fantastic. Now we're going to have some food this this week. Yeah, yeah, that's it. In addition to that, I do need to work on clearing the area. So, what I am going to do is I'm going to create a new. I'm going to create a new storage pile right here. Uh, how do I do that? This one here. Storage. Just a stockpile. In fact, a large stockpile. 25 by 20. That is our new stockpile. That stockpile is going to contain a lot of stuff. This one is a what? A 10 by 10, I think. Now we've got maximum cows here as well, which means that we've got... There's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. And as I, s I said, we are going to need... What's market buildings? Market stores, fruit stores, vegetables, what? I have no idea. General store. I have no idea. Now, I need storage barns quickly. What's that? Um, an extra large storage building that must be built on a slope. No. Not tiny barns. Not that. That's nice. Fruit and veg barn with a cellar. I do like the look of that one. Where should I place it, though? Back here, next to the... I mean, to be honest, things will move. But it's just a fruit and veg barn. That's the problem. Internal cellar, increased capacity of 9,000. That being said, and I know it's just a fruit and veg barn, but we have a lot of fruit and veg. So it will, in theory, ease. Let's do it. There you go. Oh, don't keep doing that. Uh, early autumn, so you lot, get on with it. Let's see what uh, what we end up with. Right, who else can have an upgraded house so far? We have a lot of upgraded housing. Haran is going to die soon, I am fairly sure of that, which means we are going to need a labourer to replace him. So something to be careful about. 7,000? What? How have we... How have we reached our food limit? 8,000 then. What, what is... What is causing us our food problems? Or, I say problems, overabundance. What? Okay, I'll tell you what. Venison. Haran has died of old age. He was 82. Or maybe an 81, I'm not sure. Uh, venison, let's change that. Let's add... Uh, where is it? It's going to be at the bottom. 1,500. That should help us. Stop doing that. Brocky has become an adult and is working as a labourer. A child named Brenna was born. That house is being upgraded. We still have some that need to be upgraded. Maybe that child could move to somewhere else, potentially. Ari is going to die soon, which means we are going to require a teacher. This is where the problems will start occurring now, you see. We have seven students, 27 adults. We need those students to become adults very quickly. Do you know what? Nobody farmed this year. Nobody farmed this year. Everyone gets on with the building. I've just had a thought. 
because if we do not farm then we can bring our our food levels down a bit and use the people to do something else a little bit more useful for example upgrading homes nice and quickly I think that is a good idea although it, to be completely honest it could be a terrible idea and I'll, I wouldn't know we'll leave two laborers Simmond and whoever the other one is Brocky I think It's Presley and Harry, Harry, Harry. Wait, no, you're going to die soon. So that's a bad thing. Harry, the labourer, has died. Come on, people. We have so much food. We do not have to worry about food. And to be honest, we're still getting beef. So there is that. So we, we are still getting, hang on a minute, we probably cannot eat the beef just like that. I've just thought about this. Also, is there a way, so if anybody can tell me whether there is a way for me to filter what can go where? What if we need a butcher to cut the meat? I just thought about that because you cannot just have a slab of beef or you prob somebody probably could but let's see raw food gathering no food refining perhaps it's if to refine no here wooden butcher takes meat and makes steaks chops is it steaks chops and roast there you go alrighty let's throw a wooden butcher in right here temporary measure stop that what's our food levels are good I think we might be able to uh, avoid eating for a, eating for a while or farming for a while why are these builders not getting on with their job what are you missing is it you've got plenty of stone is it the wood? Is it lumber you're missing? No, there's plenty of lumber. 60 right there. Look, let's add four there. Oh, people are growing up and, and starting to work as labourers. And, oh, actually, people could be... Uh, I was going to say people are probably out. So there's loads of lumber here look at that that is a substantial amount of lumber and here comes another merchant i wonder what that merchant is going to bring for us a merchant has arrived at a trading post what do you have on offer beer cayenne lamp oil ozellum the forester has died of old age simmond has replaced ozellum as a forester uh, nothing here that takes my fancy what is that what is it and lamp oil probably not something I require at this point in time so goodbye our food levels are still really really high which is as I said good for us when we're doing upgrades to houses which it looks like they've actually decided to pull their finger out and, and actually do. There we go. Larai the woodcutter has died of old age. Irvine has replaced Larai as a woodcutter. San has become an adult and is working as a labourer. I could just do like a Siri style or Google's voice or Alexa or something. How are we looking with the... Well, this is empty. Well, that's useless. Put the food in there. 
apparently without actually farming we're increasing our food supply still go figure uh, in fact it is probably time for us to let's see winter's a bad time to do this but I think we need to Darien the forester has died of old age I leave has replaced Darien Darien? yeah Darien as a forester uh, I'm going to replace your home we, we have plenty of space now our clothing is low get on to making clothes that is really important how much leather do we have 186 we need to make clothes and fast here's a butcher let's see what this butcher can do still going to not farm this this um this year that's probably the name of this episode the farming is on hold you are cold i do apologize i know you require a coat but there you go we have some coats being made fantastic well done and you're making something from beef what do you want to make oh do we want to make so we've got we can make roast from venison we can make steak from beef what else can we make we can make lamb chops from mutton interesting well we're going to stick with beef then maybe that maybe that's uh, more filling or something like that oh we i have seen a drop in the amount of stored food that is interesting i've just seen that drop and now it's increasing once again okay never mind i'm not i'm just very confused about all of this That could be our picture of the day. There you go. That's been printed out to be part of the thumbnails. We have 400 firewood there. We have 400 firewood here. And we have 500 firewood here. I will increase the number of firewood here to 750. There we go. We now have 750 firewood there because these houses are warmer. That's another thing. These houses are warmer, so that is going to be better for us. We could also, I just realised, go down here. Who lives down here? Upgrade that house. There we go. Why not? might as well do that and then so that we can see things where we're building i think it's about time we harvested some trees and things around here so remove resources please remove resources in in the following area you need to be able to see what on earth is going on and i'm hoping we get to be able to plant trees again is there any way to plant trees, foresters, tiny forester? No. I'm hoping there is a way to do that. Because I, I would like to plant some of the trees back once I've taken them down. And have new trees, of course. If anybody knows how to do that, please do let me know. And appreciate that. How are we looking on the building front? Things are... Things are going okay. Things are going okay. We are starting to slowly lose food, and I do mean slowly. So perhaps. Oh, we'll bring this to Bean, I think. And that's stuck with peaches, so that's fine. See what happens i bring some farmers up will they go over here and start taking this down because these have clearly just grown on their own so i want to see what's what happens 
No, nobody's working on it. I have no idea what's going on. And it says 100% yield, but that looks like everybody's, all of them are dead. Uh, right. Bring that back down. We no longer need those. No builders required. Um, how are we looking in here? Zero and no, six. Leela the Gatherer has died of old age. Irvine has replaced Leela as a gatherer. Whenever this video's coming out, if you're watching this straight after it's been released, the time is probably going to be uh, somewhere around 7.30, so... Or 8.30 in, in Britain, so... This is BBC News. The time is half past eight. In tonight's headlines, Leela the Gatherer has died of old age. She was 93. Irvine has replaced Leela as a gatherer, but mourners are in shock at the, at the loss of the beloved villager. We now go village side to our local correspondent, who is talking to the villagers about this loss. And so on and so forth. Perhaps I'm supposed to say that in a little bit more received pronunciation. Uh, or is it heightened RP that, that they use? Because I use fair fair amount of received pronunciation in my, my tone. Horses! Hmm. What am I going to do with the horses? There's nothing to do. And I certainly do not want to kill horses for meat. No, dismissed. That is better. Now I can see where everything is. That is far, far better. Okay, great. So that is what I can work on in the next video. Uh, once I've... Oh, that's already been up, up, upgraded? Yes, upgraded. Built. So not everything has been upgraded yet to the, the newer housing. Um... I want to try what I would really like is people to move here, there and everywhere. Early spring. Should we make more food? I think perhaps once we get under Ooh, someone else has died. Ooh, someone else has died. That was a that was a loss of death suddenly. Pearldine and Dahlia. No, Dahlia's replaced uh, Trinidas. Oh dear. Brilly has become a student. Lovely. Welcome to student Phil. Population U. Six students currently. Nine children, six students. Angelicity has become an adult and is working as a labourer. Congratulations on becoming an adult and now working as a labourer. Now you'll notice that we have seven. We require that is going to be close. We need we need people to graduate. But as I said, we have so much food. I think we are doing really really well because we have eggs, we have uh, we have cows, we have beef, we have peas. We, we're out of beans, um, which is a shame. But. Someone's probably got them. There you go. You've got people that have beans in their house. And they've got blueberries and beef and beef steaks and onions and venison and oats and peas and eggs and peaches and all sorts. You have beef and beef steak and eggs and firewood and honey and oats and peas and venison. It's fantastic. And there's so much iron. There is so much iron. In fact, there is so much iron. I would recommend you start making iron tools. We are moving away from wooden tools and moving to iron tools. Because iron tools are what is required. Come on, come on, come on. Upgrade that house. These houses cannot be upgraded further, so we will... What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Over here, I'll start building... Now, see, I'm... I'm thinking about whether I should build industry here or housing here. 
let me know what do you think should be built right here for those people watching and have got to this point what should be built right here and with that I believe it is time for me to end this video so thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on banished with the mega mod leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think please do consider supporting me on patreon if you can do so your supports will be massively appreciated at www.patreon.com slash ecgadget your supports would be massively appreciated as i said and it would really really help me out and also you can find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both twitter and instagram next episode i think maybe just maybe we should get these farms running again or or we take it upon ourselves whilst we have the food to move the farms away so that we can actually start building up the city that could be a good idea that could be a really really good idea let me know what you think let me know of your suggestions i'll leave an episode before i do that um, but there we go thank you very much for watching once again and i will see you next time in banished mega mod